Hi, my name's Saul. Um, I've had some questions on how to transfer pictures, music, videos from your phone to your computer. So this is going to be a quick walkthrough on how to do that. We're going to use an HTC Incredible. Um, I've already got the phone and computer plugged together using the USB cable. Um, so we're just going to start from there, okay? Um, so at the beginning, your computer is not going to register anything until you have your phone set up correctly. So we're going to start there. All right. So here's my phone. Okay. So I'm going to turn the phone on. Slide it down. Up top, we have the uh, icon that gives it the USB icons. I'm going to pull it down. The one that says charge only, right here. I'm going to select that, and it brings up several different options. This is uh, strictly the HTC version, so we're going to choose the, actually to mount as a disk drive, and hit done. So now my computer is actually recognizing the phone as a disk drive. So on my computer, I'm going to go to start, down here. And then with Windows 7, you go right to computer. And you'll see there's my removable drive right here. So on the phone, so it says removable drive G right there. On the phone, if I drag this down, choose the USB option again. If I do the charge only version, you'll see that G goes away. Alright, so drag it down, and then we want to mount as disk drive. You'll see it pop up. Alright, so if we open movable disk drive G, you can see how much uh, memory is actually in you being used. So let's go ahead and open it up. Alright, now we have all of the different folders, and this is actually the phone itself. Um, most of the time, the DCIM folder, which is alphabetical of course, DCIM will hold your pictures. And then you just go into 100 Media, and there is the pictures that live on your phone. All you have to do now to transfer it is you can pick one, drag it, and just drop it at the pictures. And that's it. You just copy the pictures from your phone to your computer. Alright, once you're done, turn the phone back on at the top, slide it down, slide that down, make sure you go charge only, and hit done and you'll see that that disappears. Your computer does not recognize your phone as a disk drive now, so pretty straightforward. Alright, so again my name is Solomon. Um, thanks for watching. Um, feel free to subscribe. I'll have a lot more videos coming out. So have a great day. Bye-bye.